homesteading to prepping to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, today we're planting cucumbers. Now, when you plant cucumbers, the ver variety we plant is called straight eights. They're a great pickling cucumber for sliced deals and uh, uh, bread and butter pickles. Oh, my favorite, bread and butter pickles. And uh, so, let's talk about uh, straight eight cucumbers. They make a vine that spreads probably eight to 10 feet. So, we plant them in a hill of four or five vines to the hill. I'll put more seeds down. <clears throat> I'll put more seeds down than that but I'll limit it to, to two or three vines in each hill. And this year, we don't have to plant as many cucumbers because last year I planted a boo koodle. I planted a 100 foot row of cucumbers and Crystal made pickles. Well, we're only out of a couple of different types of pickle. <clears throat> so we don't need as many pickles this year. So I'm gonna show you why I do what I do and what I do. So let's look at the field here a minute. Now you'll notice, see if I can get this on this right. Right here is the edge of the field. And right there is a row. Well, what that is, that's the D mark of where the, where the uh, tiller on my tractor goes. So from there to there is the tiller of the tractor's width. So I still want to be able to go down beside this hill with my tractor until the vines get so big that they won't cause that problem. So I'm going to put the hills over in this area, okay, so that I can still tend this with my tractor. So let's get out in there and show you how to uh, get ready to do that. Okay, here's that line, and I don't want to be over there. I want to be over in here somewhere to make my hill. So you just take dirt and you pull it up and I love College Hill Farms dirt. It's a loam and it's just great for growing stuff. I came through and tilled this up yesterday so that we could plant it today. So there's the hill. Now I just take the cucumbers. Again, we save all of our own Here's my bag that I use. We save all of our own cucumber seeds, the squash seeds. We plant heirlooms of everything. So I'm gonna drop these, and I'm gonna drop seven or eight there on the hill. And why am I dropping so many if I only wanna limit the hill to two or three? Well, the truth is is that if five comes up, that's fine. If two comes up, that's fine. If three comes up, that's fine. Or if all seven come up, that's fine too. I just thin and keep the three strongest plants. All right, now that's all there is to that. And in each hill, I mark by putting a little pelletized fertilizer. This is just agricultural fertilizer called 10, 10, 10. And once those seeds sprout, they'll have plenty of fertilizer to help get them started on their way. All right, now I'm just gonna put five hills like this in this row. And then in about, oh, six or eight weeks, maybe just a month, I'll come back and put five more. So it'll be 10 hills of uh, cucumbers, but they'll be spaced out so that they're at their peak a month apart. So we've got eating cucumbers and pickling cucumbers. All right, let me get at it. Okay, and that's how you plant 
cucumbers. Now, for the new subscribers out there, I'm glad you're along. Be certain to comment, you know, ask questions, show me stuff, show me videos, show me things that you'd like me to do, uh, or tell me things you'd like me to do or you'd like to see on the channel. Uh, we've been growing pretty good the last little bit, so be certain to come on back. Now, if you like this stuff, this homestead and do-it-yourself kind of lifestyle, we do this every week, sometimes one, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on in the homestead that week. If you hit the little bell, it'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload every Sunday. And now it's time for me to get on to the next thing.